Hi, my name's Tessa and I'm from Folkestone. I'm a chef, so I was working in a restaurant before lockdown. And my bosses were sitting on the fence, not wanting to shut the restaurant down because of my financial reasons. Watching what was going on in the world and thinking, hold on, are you people actually going to recognise this? You know, recognise what's going on in the world? Then all of a sudden, one day, we were called to the restaurant and told, that's it, we're locking down. We've got to shut the restaurant. So it was a big rush to put all our produce away and try and close the restaurant down. And then all of a sudden I was at home for months and months with my family, which for me was such a positive and really lovely experience because I don't spend a lot of time with my family. My daughter, who's a grown up hairdresser, she goes to work a lot. So we like put ships in the night. My husband worked on the COVID site. So <laughs> he was out at work all the time. So we obviously knew quite a lot of information that was going on that other people didn't know. It was a really positive experience for me. I really enjoyed it. I love all the time I spent with my daughter. Every minute of it, she is a wonderful person. And being with her made the experience so easy. Apart from the fact that I had to have a menu ready every morning. But we'd get through breakfast and just before lunch, she'd say, what's for lunch and tea tonight and dinner tonight then, mum? Are you making a cake? <laughs> And this went on for weeks and weeks and weeks. So obviously we put lockdown weight on. and But it was really lovely. I'm from London, so I'm reaching out to family up there. You know, everybody was locked down. My dad had um, dementia and was in a home. So my mum was suffering in a really different way to me. Watching everybody else's experience, I felt like a fraud because I wasn't having that bad experience. And the clapping and everything... On this street, which is a large street and most people work, you don't see many people, you don't see your neighbours. But when we were all clapping, sitting out, like leaning out of our window or on a nice day downstairs, we'd all talk to each other. The, the people that live next door, we've lived next door to them for years, and they were like leaning out of their window going, hi neighbours, and meeting people that we hadn't met before. And we've got a carer that lives downstairs, so she used to come out and we'd clap for her because she worked all through it as well. I did feel like a fraud because I wasn't suffering like other people. Yes, it was monotonous at times and a little bit boring. I watch stuff on TV that I wouldn't normally watch. Like, I think I'm Folkestone's expert on Bigfoot now and Skinwalker Ranch. And, you know, I watched things like that just for something different. And, wow, what else is going on in the world? Let's have a look outside. Everything changed on that day, didn't it? On the day of the lockdown, everything changed for everybody. The way we shop, the way we see other people, the way we do things, and it's still now being felt. But what was really nice that I did notice in the community, people were looking after each other at first. I did notice that. And like, you know, when you're standing outside in Sainsbury's in the queue, a lot of older people were being looked after and, oh, you know, do you need to, would you like to go in front of me and stuff like that. Then when the government started talking about grassing your neighbours up and stuff, things really changed, really changed. Like people were kind of looking at each other sideways and have you got that person going in your house and why are you doing that? And hold on, this is going on. And I just thought, wow. It was a real change, you know, a real, sh yeah, a real shift in direction. Everybody was out for their self when, first of all, when it first happened, we all wanted to help each other. And then all of a sudden, that stopped. Like, for everything is different. Like, going back to work, being a chef. People don't eat the same way they used to. So I'm cooking differently. Like, the restaurant I work in now, which is a different restaurant, I might add, we don't do large meals anymore. It's all small plate food. Because people haven't, number one, got the money, Number two, got the appetite for going out and having a big meal. And they don't want to sit in a restaurant full of people. Like, eat out to help out thing, I knew, was going to bring another lockdown. And it did. And it brought more pressure and more, yeah, and more money worries as well. I mean, the government telling everybody that this thing was going to help everybody out. And it just made it all worse. And it's still being felt now. Nothing is ever going to be the same again, you know. We've had so many things happen over the past three, four years. I felt like we were a lab test for a lot of it. You know, obviously we were a lab test because this is something that's never happened in our lifetime once again. But we were really under scrutiny. That didn't feel right to me. Things were hard enough as it was. 
I'm going to talk about the doctors. I mean, anybody in this town, you can't even get into a doctor's now. If you're sick, you can't get into a doctor's. That's another thing that has, COVID has changed for the worse, I suppose. My dad passed away. It wasn't the actual lockdown. We could have 30 people at his funeral. But still, that was felt. My dad's Irish. So he comes from a big family. So there was family that couldn't come to the funeral, which wouldn't usually happen. And then we couldn't have, you know, with the Irish, he couldn't have his wake afterwards, which, again, is breaking tradition. You know, breaking from tradition that what, what we would normally do, we'd have a big knees up and being a big Irish family. That couldn't happen because of COVID. So much has changed because of COVID. Even the way we shop, the way we go shopping, the stuff we buy... I've never, I mean, being a chef, I've always washed my hands and all that. Now, you see people with the anti back gels and all that, and I really actually know what they're doing with it and know that, hold on, I've got to wash my hands here, there, you know? Whereas a lot of people never used to do stuff like that. You know, things have changed so much. I don't know if it's for the better or not. I can't decide. 